begin in Washington, where much of the focus is now shifting from Donald Trump's second impeachment trial to President Biden's bold agenda, including his nearly $2 trillion COVID relief plan. This comes after the Senate acquitted the former president over the weekend. Only seven Republicans joined Democrats in voting to impeach Mr. Trump for inciting an insurrection at the Capitol last month. Now, the party is facing a reckoning over how to move forward and unite. Some GOP lawmakers say that it's time to leave Mr. Trump in the past, while others argue that he is very much the party's leader. You know, one of the biggest reasons that we know that Donald Trump is responsible for this insurrection is that it failed, like everything else he's ever been in charge of. Feels good to have an actual president on President's Day. We haven't been able to really enjoy President's Day in the past four years. Biden's still your president. Mitch McConnell delaying the impeachment trial until after Trump left office and then refusing to convict Trump because Trump was no longer in office is like your mom saying, we can't get food while we're out and about because there's food at home. And then when you get the fuck home, there's no food. Your mom says, well, maybe you should have got food when we were out. You said we couldn't do that. That's why we did not do that. Motherfucker, this old, wrinkly, traitor ass is such a fucking coward. I cannot believe it. All the Republicans that didn't vote to convict Trump, no surprise. A bunch of seditious, traitorous, Jim Crow caucus members, a bunch of yellow belly, spineless, amoral fucking cowards that would not do the right thing no matter what presented to them. You know why? Because they're too worried about getting reelected and the only people that are going to reelect them are fucking MAGA. So...